Today, I'm gonna try and laser some shirts. And by laser shirts, I don't mean actually laser the shirt itself. Today, I'm gonna cut stencils for shirts with the laser. Now, I'm gonna be using the freezer paper method. Instead of cutting the freezer paper by hand, I'm gonna try and cut it out with the laser. Um, hopefully, this will let me achieve more complex designs because I don't really wanna sit there and cut out paper. The first thing I did was find this picture of a design I liked online and then converted the image to an SVG via Inkscape. I actually don't even like anime because I watch Cowboy Bebop and then no other anime could compare to that. Okay, so here's my pretty foolproof plan. It's definitely gonna work the first time. I have a piece of parchment paper here. It's about the size of my drawing and I'm going to tape it to this piece of cardboard. Set the laser to cut the paper and then transfer it over onto the shirt very, very carefully and iron it down. Um, I think that's gonna work. We'll see. Wish me luck. Okay, let's give this a go. Ah! Well, that could have gone better. This time, I've more carefully taped down everything, so let's, let's try this again. So Claire, how'd your thing turn out? Well, it uh, flew away and it caught on fire there a little bit, so... Let's see what we can salvage from this. Okay, so none of this works. So if we look at the design and we look at this, like this piece alone, you can tell there's way too much of a gap because maybe his mouth is supposed to be there, right? But then his cigarette's down there and this, this like hole is way too big. And I mean, I, there's no way, these pieces don't fit. And I think the reason is because the paper was curling as it was printing. So I probably need some spray adhesive or something. I'm sure there's a way you can make this work, but I think what I'm gonna do instead is just simplify what I'm doing, because this was already kind of a lot. It's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna do the text at the bottom here. So I just have some screen printing ink and I'm gonna paint this in. So the shirt looks pretty cool, but I would not recommend this method like at all. A lot of the problems I was facing had to do with the paper curling and like, you know, I could have flattened it out before and I could do a lot of things to help that. One idea that might work was be to iron the paper onto the shirt first and then laser it just enough to cut through the paper. But it didn't really seem worth the fire hazard that that probably is. But the real problem is the airflow inside the laser printer itself tends to blow the paper around because it's really, really light and it's probably just a recipe for disaster, honestly, and I don't want anyone to light anything on fire like I did. The other thing is there's so many better, easier ways to print t-shirts if you want to. Zero out of 10, would not recommend. 